Bobby Lee recently went on Theo Vaughn's podcast, and the topic of Christianity and faith came up. But I like wholesome, dude. She goes to church wow. twice every Sunday. Really? Now, Bobby Lee is the same gentleman that essayed George Janko on the Impulsive podcast when all of George Janko's friends didn't stand up for him and let Bobby do some real sus stuff to him. We covered it on the channel. I've talked about how other YouTubers completely missed this. And I didn't really care what Bobby Lee had to say about Christianity or Jesus, but there is one redemptive quality of this conversation, if you will. Okay, so let's jump into this conversation. So this is Theo Vaughn. Uh, Theo Vaughn's a comedian and podcaster, Bobby Lee. And the topic of faith, specifically Christianity, comes up in context of women. Now, I got to give you guys a heads up. Had your kids, had your wife. Explicit, explicit, explicit. She's the first person that I kind of want. I'm like, I kind of like. I like her. You know, aside from the girl that betrayed me with the Brandon Lee. You know what I mean? But yeah, um, yeah I like this n n new one. You know, she's uh, yeah, she's something wholesome. You know what, dude, bro? Let me be honest with you. Yeah, Man, I love wholesome. You do? Yeah, I love church going when they make sweaters. What yeah. do you call that? Um, when they, when they knitting. Can, uh, no, a crochet. Yeah, crochet, crochet, yeah, knitting, whatever. Crochet. You know what I mean? I like it when they uh, they're like, oh, I've never seen Goodfellas. Bobby Lee, the sus boy comedian is telling Theo Vaughn that he is into wholesome women. Yeah. You're right? Oh, and you yeah. can show them that and it blows her mind. Yeah. This is like every red pillar's dream. Like, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go be for these streets and then I'm going to find me a nice little church girl. You know what I mean? Girl. Yeah, i never seen The Departed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Or it's like, they only, this girl that I'm seeing, she only likes um, Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So then you can open her mind up to like good music, too, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, this is good music right here. You know what I mean? The Clash or whatever. But I like Wholesome, dude. Yeah. She goes to church wow. twice every Sunday. Really? Why in the world is this poor young girl talking to Bobby Lee? How, sis, wh whoever you are, whoever you are, ah, stop with the missionary dating. Please. Please, guys, stop, stop. Some of you guys are watching this stream right now and you got Bobby Lee's in your life. Stop it. Get some help. You guys remember that Michael, Michael Jordan meme? Stop it. Get some help. Stop with the missionary dating. Scriptures say don't be partnered up with people that are not equally yoked. All right? Know the verse. Ethnicity. Like, what church ethnicity is she? What church ethnicity? <laughs> Theo, what are you asking, man? What do you mean? Like what? Uh, <laughs> I've never heard church ethnicity. You know, uh, denomination. Sorry. Denomination. Okay, that's what he meant. <laughs> oh, I see. I don't know. The one with the cross. Oh, yeah. The one with the cross. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Probably. It has to do with the cross. It oh, has nothing Baptist. to do with other things. Yeah. yeah. Like, like an, an alien or whatever. Protestant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's one of those mega churches. So it's like one of those born again. You know how they do the Harvest Crusade? Yeah. In like a huge stadium. Jesus! Yeah. So he mentions the Harvest Crusade. Now, what's so interesting is the Harvest Crusade is Pastor Greg Glory's event. They just had one in July. It was amazing. Seven, 7,000, over 7,000 public professions of faith. And then I want to say two weekends of thousands of people getting baptized. It's a big deal. So it's crazy that Bobby Lee's context for Christianity, or specifically with this girl that is trying to uh, date him into the kingdom of God, is Greg Laurie and Harvest Festival. That's kind of wild to think about. Yeah. Here's a future. I don't know how that is. Loving, loving it good. Jesus, yes. touch my That's <laughs> Y'all stop sending shots at my man Phil Wilkman like that. He don't got no records like that. Stop it. That's the one I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah. They have that in Oklahoma or whatever? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Oh, is in my skirt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a good shirt. Yeah, that's, I a, go to that's that crazy yeah, one, yeah. dude. I saw a guy the other day. A guy had a shirt on it said Jesus is, uh oh it said God is my girlfriend on it and I was like that's insane that's insane that's sexual dude I know it was a lot yeah that's a lot dude yeah dude the Christians it, they get real with Christ huh well, Bobby Lee the sus comedian that essay George Janko by telling him to quote smell his testicles is gonna talk about Christians behaving there's so many layers of this. Like, there's so many layers of how goofy this is. Layer number one is the obvious hypocrisy. Bobby Lee, you're sus, bro. Layer number two is someone that is affirming progressive in their ideologies and would say, I have no problem with people, is now using the word as a weaponized against Christians. 
So now you're so you are actually not just being hypocritical top down. Now you're you're also you're being phobic against the people you affirm in an attempt to attack the people you say you find virtue from and specifically this girl that you are pursuing who goes to church twice a week. The levels, the levels, man. Well, I think anything, too much love. Oh. If you get too much love going, there's yeah, something gets has to happen. <laughs> like you listen to the lyrics like, you're the love of my life. All I need is you, Jesus. Jesus. It's like you're you're hitting on Jesus. It's just weird. Or Jesus, Las Vegas. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're yeah, like yeah. trying to get people to go to Vegas. Vegas, like, yeah, it's weird. weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just got to church, man. I don't even know what it. Jesus loves you. Yes, yes I, I know. know. For the Bible tells you so. That's a classic. Yeah. That's like free bird before Christian. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a classic. Well, it's hard to say you're not if you love Jesus and you're a man. This is why comedians should like, this is why comedians have writers and spend time developing their stand-up comedian, stand-up comedy routines. Because when they don't, they just, they're, they're then just grasping for straws and trying to be provocative. Right? Like, this is like, oh, you, you gay joke. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christians. Right? It's like the, the, the degrees of cringe here are amazing. Because you, there's a part of you that's loving another man. Right, right. There is a vibe there. Well, there's just a, it's impossible to be, you have to be at least whatever tithing 10% to even do uh, <laughs> oh. Christianity, it appears like. Right, right. <sighs> okay. Listen, this is, this is, uh, this is so bad. It's cringe on many levels, but ultimately, um, this is why it's bad. It's bad because this is a categorical error. You don't love Jesus in a romantic sense. We've talked about this. We've debunked this. We've addressed this repeatedly. We've talked about how Christians sometimes fall short in trying to romanticize faith in Jesus. Jesus is the Savior. Uh, the Savior is categorically different than a romantic interest. For men and women, by the way. Ladies, Jesus can't be your boyfriend. I'm sorry to break it to you. Okay, fellas, Jesus can't be your boyfriend. Sorry to break it to you. You love another man the way I love my dad, the way I love my brother, the way my son loves me. Why? Because we are we're grafted in as children of God because of the work on the cross. I can't believe I have to say this sort of stuff. So I hope that they talk to more Christians in their real life. I hope that whoever this girl that is dating Bobby Lee would break up with him. <laughs> is that wrong? Is that wrong that I want that? Am I wrong for that? Uh, stop, stop missionary dating, please, please stop it. And I hope that they would that that that, that they would uh, you know, Bobby Lee would find Jesus because he needs Jesus, desperately needs Jesus. All right, but yeah, I don't. Please don't. And and the and the application point because every video got to have an application point. With my videos, stop, stop dating the Bobby Lees in your life. Stop dating the Bobby Lees in your life. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all got the Bobby Lee's. And matter of fact, the Bobby Lee in your life might be texting you right now. You know what you should do? This is an old thing we used to do. Let me see if you guys remember this. We used to go in and the people we knew we shouldn't be dating anymore, we used to go into our phone and we'd go into our contacts. And under the contacts, instead of their name, we'd delete their name and we would just write, don't pick up. Or we'd write, you know, or, or if you're one of these young whippersnappers, you could just write, don't text back. When the Bobby Lee in your life comes knocking on your door, just 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 write, don't text back. Or you could just block them. You could just block them. You could do that too. But some of you guys aren't there yet. So anyway, what a uh, what a train wreck of a conversation. But at least he's familiar with who, what Harvest is. And shout out to Greg Glory. Man. We see according to the Bible that prayer is extremely important in terms of us being transformed from the inside out when we get aligned with God's will. I want you guys to implement these spiritual disciplines in your day-to-day -day life. And the only way I've been able to do this consistently is through writing down my prayers in a prayer journal that does a few things. One, it allows me to reflect and come to God humbly and ask him to move on my behalf. And two, it allows me to document my prayers, which ultimately helped me remember the very things that I was praying for and see the hand of God tangibly in my life when he answers them. So I would urge you, consider writing down your prayers. 
It could be in a blank notebook. It could even be on your phone. Or you could check out the one I personally designed and used from my own quiet time and spiritual discipline that I think will be a huge blessing. It's the exact structure and system that I've used for years to pray and be more consistent in my spiritual disciplines. And here's the thing, with the hope to create a prayer movement, we've made the PDF version of this prayer journal completely free. So to get the PDF of our prayer journal completely for free, go to blessgodpdf.shop now.